All right, what's going on my Toyota friends? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to change your oil on your third generation Toyota. Now I have a 2022 Tundra. This probably should be the same in a 22, 23, and a 24. I'm also at the end of this video, I'm gonna, I'll show you how you should be rotating your tires on your four wheel drive Tundra. And I will go over some of the torque specs. And I'll show you how to reset your maintenance required. Now this truck is scheduled for like an oil change, I think, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they want you to change your oil every 10,000 miles. When that maintenance require light comes on, it's gonna be 10,000 miles. It looks like, I tried looking this up and it looked like maybe it was between 7,500 to 10,000. Now, because this has a twin turbo, this oil is also used for those turbos. So me, it is totally up to you, but I'm gonna start changing my oil every 5,000 miles. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments. If you think going out to 10,000 miles is okay, or every 5,000 miles. I definitely don't think it's gonna to hurt to do this earlier. All right, some of the things you're gonna need for this oil change are, you're gonna need at least eight quarts of oil. This engine takes 7.7 .7 quarts. I'll put all this stuff down in the description. I will put this Toyota oil, and I will put like a mobile one down in the description. And you're also gonna need an oil filter. You could go to your auto parts store and buy some of this stuff or you could go right to your Toyota dealer. And if you live anywhere near me, you can check out Aubrey Alexander in Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania, and they will help you out with all this oil, the oil filter, and your little fancy crush washer, which I really don't think this is even a crush washer anymore. I think it's more called just a little gasket. But I will also put a link to all this stuff down in the description if you need any of this stuff. And one other thing they will help you out with, that I really do love on my truck is I have the TRD three inch lift. So if you'd wanna put that OEM TRD three inch lift on your truck, they will also help you out with that. I'll put their address down in the description along with a phone number. If you wanna torque stuff on, you're gonna need a torque wrench, a 14 millimeter socket to take the drain plug out, and to take your little skid plate off the bottom, you're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket, probably something to take your filter off with, like a filter wrench, and I will put some of these, like I said, these little gaskets down in the description to this. If you do want to replace this, you're going to need a funnel to put the oil in your truck, maybe even a light. Also might want a set of ramps. If you can't get under your truck, my truck's not so bad. So I'm only going to use half of my ramp. I can take my ramp apart, flip it upside down like that, and I can just use that part. Now I built them ramps, so if you'd like to see that, I will put a link to that video at the end of this video. And you also may need something to drain your oil in. Make sure it holds 7.7 .7 quarts. First step to changing your oil is you need to warm your oil up. So warming the oil up, the oil is gonna drain better and it will mix up all the contaminants you got in your oil so all those contaminants will drain out of your oil. So let me start my truck up. I'm gonna drive it around in my development and then I'll pull it back up on these ramps. All right, now my truck's warmed up. I'm gonna pop my hood and I'll show you how to open the hood. Really at this point, if you don't know how to open your hood, you probably shouldn't be changing your oil, but I'll show you anyway. Right down under here, right here to the left, there's my gas, my brake, right here. Pull out that, your hood will pop. Now, right up here, my Toyota symbol. Right under here, there will be a little latch right here. I can see it. Push that to the left, and then pick up on your hood. All right, before I start draining my oil, I'm gonna pull my dipstick. Just pull that out right there. Pull that all the way out. Wipe that, I'm gonna wipe it off. Let me just set this here. That way I won't forget to put it back in. And then right here's your fill cap. Take that out. Set that there too. Now we're ready to start draining it. All right, got my 14 millimeter. I have my drain pan under here. And when you get under here, you may want some paper towels. Right here's your drain plug for your oil. You're probably gonna get a little oil on you. Right 
there. If my truck looks real shiny under here, it's because I put an undercoat on my truck. If you want to see that video, I also have a video on how I undercoated my truck. Because I live in here in wonderful Pennsylvania. It snows and they like to put uh, piles and piles of salt on the road. I like to take my drain plug out and hold on it a little bit. And then when it gets loose, I pull it off. All right, while you wait for all your oil to completely drain out of your truck, you can take off that skid plate. You're gonna need that 12 millimeter socket. We have to take this off because my oil filter is right up under this. Oh. Should come off real easy. Watch the stuff doesn't fly in your eye. All right, take that out. Let me show your oil filter. Uh, and then right up in here, there's your oil filter right there. And I'm gonna to try to find me a hose to go over this. That's That way I don't make a mess. All right, my oil's still dripping out of the bottom of my truck a little bit. While it's doing that, I'm gonna take off my oil filter and replace that oil filter. And I found a tube, my tube doesn't hit, fit really good, but if you had a tube where the inside diameter was maybe like around a half an inch, It'd probably fit on there real nice. I'm gonna try this, hopefully this will work. Oh, that hose worked like a champ. It's kind of nice, my 07 Tundra, the oil would drip all over my skid plate because I never took it off. All right, let that drain for a little bit. There's still gonna be some oil coming out of your engine up there where you put your filter on. Your drain plug and that probably started draining a little more, so you're still gonna have to sit here and let that drain. Now you're gonna to wanna to take your oil filter and take some of that new oil, and you're gonna to wanna to put some of that new oil around this rubber gasket. Now you're just gonna to wanna to put that on there hand tight. If you do wanna put your put it on hand tight, you might you can put your wrench on there, maybe go maybe a quarter turn more if you want, but that's all you're gonna need. <sighs> that's good. All right, the oil finally came to a drip and make sure you remove that old gasket. Mine's still on there. I'm gonna to have to get something to scrape that off. There we go. Yeah. Make sure you remove that if you're going to replace it. And then if you want to torque that on, that's 30 foot pounds of torque. That's what that's going to take. There we go, 30 foot pounds. That way I don't over tighten that. If you don't have a torque wrench, don't tighten that up real, real, real tight. 30 foot pounds is not super duper tight. You don't want to strip that out. Probably better off buying a torque wrench. You can get some that aren't too expensive. I put the drain plug back in and I have a brand new oil filter on. Make sure you have all that on and then you can start dumping your new oil in. 7.7 .7 quarts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Now the point seven. It's not as easy to measure. Which should be almost a quart. All right, now I got that 7.7 .7 quarts in there. 
I'm gonna let that sit for maybe a minute or two, just let that all settle down in. And then I'm gonna put my dipstick in and check it. And if it looks like everything seems okay, I am going to start my engine, run it for a little bit so the oil gets into that oil filter. Then I'll, I'll, then I'll let my engine sit another maybe 15, 20 minutes, let that oil drain back down into the sump. And I'm gonna recheck it, make sure my oil is at the correct level on my dipstick. Now, there's two little dots on this dipstick. This oil should be right there close to the top, that top dot. So let me put this down in there and check it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It is, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's right at the top of that. Put my fill cap back on. I'm gonna go crack my garage door and start this truck up, let it run for a little bit, then I'm gonna shut it off. All right, now I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes, then I'm gonna recheck it. All right, while you let your truck sit for a little while so you can recheck your oil, you could be cleaning up all your oil, dump all your oil into a container, and maybe you could drop that off at like an auto parts store. Some of these places will take some of your used oil. Or me, I plan on making a used oil burner. So if I made that video, I will put a link to that video at the end of this one. All right, let me show you how to reset that maintenance required light on your truck. All right, let me first shut this hood. This truck is funny and it doesn't like my hood up. Come inside your cab and I think I can hit this without even turning my truck on. I think I can just hit this engine start stop button then hit it again. There we go. That turns everything on. Now over here on the left side, I have my back button, up and down arrows, right and left arrows. And if you push this button in, it will. it's like pushing okay. So let's go back. Now let's go over to, I'm going to go to the left or right, all right, to the left, right there to that gear symbol. And then we're going to go down, all the way down, down to vehicle settings, push OK. Hold that OK button in, and then you can go down, scheduled maintenance, push OK. Reset data, okay, reset complete. Now we're gonna go back, go to oil maintenance, push okay, go up, reset data, yes, reset complete. And that's it, now we can just go back, back, your regular menu, all right, that's it. All right, that's it, if that's all you wanna know, how to change your oil, now you can continue watching. I'll show you how I'm gonna rotate my tires and I'll give you the torque specs for that. And also don't forget to put on back on your skid plate. One more thing, if you are done with this video, if you did use a torque wrench, don't forget to take your torque wrench and let off all that tension. You don't wanna store your torque wrench like that. All right, all I got left to do is to rotate my tires. Every time I change my oil, I like to rotate my tires because I don't know if you went and bought a set of tires lately, but they cost a lot of freaking money. I'll show you how I rotate my four wheel drive tires, or I think it's the same thing even if you have a real wheel drive truck. So if you have a set of steel wheels on your truck, it's gonna be 154 foot pounds to torque those lug nuts back on. And if you have aluminum wheels, it is gonna be 97 foot pounds. Now this is how I'm gonna rotate my tires on my four wheel drive truck, or if you have just a real wheel drive truck. This is the front of the truck, says front right here. You're gonna take the two front tires and you're gonna cross them and put them in the rear. And you'll just take these two rear tires and you're just gonna go forward. That's all you're gonna do every time. That way, this tire is gonna go from here to here. The next time you rotate it, that, that tire will go up here and be on this side of the truck. So you just do that every time you rotate your tires. Now you can take a screenshot of this and print this off so you won't forget but that's how I'm gonna rotate my tires. All right, now I just take the rear of my truck and I'll show you here. 
I put it up on jack stands. Now you might not have to put yours up on blocks like that also, but my truck has um, got that three inch lift on it and I have to put them on blocks. So I have just the rear on them jack stands and that gets these tires up just enough. Then I just take my floor jack and I jack the front up. And now I'm gonna do these one at a time. All right, that's it. I hope this video helped out with changing your oil and rotating your tires and resetting that maintenance requirement light inside your truck. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a great day.